Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first musculoskeletal radiology unknown case. When we take a look here, we have a frontal view of the left hip and left femur here. And notice that the, this here is the femoral head. This is the femoral neck. This is the femoral shaft here. The femur is articulating with the acetabulum. And we're looking to see if there's any abnormality here. This patient is a 60-year-old male complaining with chronic thigh pain. And the first thing we're going to do is to look and see if we see any evidence of acute fracture or dislocation. The left hip looks like it's congruent. It's articulating well with the acetabulum. Uh, I don't see any break in the cortex, so I may feel that there's no acute fracture. But if we look a little closer at the subtrochanteric femur, we can see that there's a focal area of cortical thickening, you know, laterally along the femoral cortex. And there's a differential diagnosis for this. So if we, when we see a focal area of cortical thickening, we should immediately think of traumatic causes. This could be related to a callus from a prior fracture. This could be uh, some evidence of stress-related fracture, a stress-related injury. Uh, focal cortical thickening can also be related to tumors. Uh, there's a classic tumor known as an osteoid osteoma, which is a bone forming tumor that young people get uh, that typically results in pain at night that's relieved with aspirin or NSAIDs. And, you know, focal cortical thickening can also be a result of subacute or chronic osteomyelitis or infection of the bone. And the cortex here you can see is this dense area along the periphery. You see it medially and we see it laterally. And here there's a focal area of cortical thickening. We actually, if we look closely, we can see a transverse lucency or a linear lucent line through here. So this is indeed a fracture. And this is actually a very important fracture. This is pathognomonic for a bisphosphonate fracture. So bisphosphonate fractures occur, you know, paradoxically in patients that are taking bisphosphonate therapy for osteoporosis or some other you know, underlying disease. And they typically get fractures exactly in this location, in the subtrochanteric lateral femur. So classically, we'll get a fracture here uh, in the subtrochanteric femur. Uh, and it always starts laterally. It'll never start medially. In fact, if it is starts medially, it means that it's a complete fracture having gone laterally to the medial aspect of the cortex. The other important thing to know about bisphosphonate fractures is, is that they have a high predisposition to be bilateral. So if you see a bisphosphonate fracture on one side, you should always screen the other side to make sure that there's no bisphosphonate fracture on the other side. A bisphosphonate fracture will never start medially. It'll always start laterally and it'll always start along the subtrochanteric femur, which means distal to the lesser trochanter. So this is the greater trochanter here. This is the lesser trochanter here. The fracture will always start distal to that region in the subtrochanteric femur. So this is a nice example of a bisphosphonate fracture, and I hope this has been helpful in underlying and understanding what the differential diagnosis is for focal cortical thickening, which is you know traumatic causes, tumors, and infection, and this being pathognomonic for a bisphosphonate fracture. Thank you so much for your time.